Let's introduce you to the Find a Grave app, and then we'll go over headstone photography, pinning GPS, and transcribing photos. When you open the Find a Grave app, you see the search homepage. At the bottom is a menu, search, profile, uploads, and transcriptions. At the top of the search page is the memorial search, where you can search for any memorial on the site, and the cemetery search, where you can search for any cemetery added to the site, and also see the cemetery map. When you tap on cemetery search, the map opens and shows the cemeteries near you. If you are in a cemetery, it will show your location and the cemetery highlighted below. You can tap on any of these pins to see the cemetery information. Tap the menu icon in the upper right corner to see the list of cemeteries. You can tap on the cemetery name that is displayed on the cemetery map. Here's the cemetery page. You can scroll through the cemetery photos and then scroll down and find out more about the cemetery. All of this information is contributed by members of the Find a Grave community. Tap the heart to sign up as a photo volunteer for this cemetery or flag it as one of your favorite cemeteries. It's simple to see what a memorial needs from the icons to the left of the memorial, GPS or a headstone photo. While standing at the grave, tap on the memorial. From the memorial page, Tap the camera icon to photograph the grave and add GPS, or tap the pin icon for GPS location only. That finishes up a basic introduction to the Find a Grave app. Let's imagine we're heading to the cemetery to photograph headstones. I open my notifications panel and enable my location. Now the headstone photos I upload will also upload with the GPS location. I open the Find a Grave app and tap on Cemetery Search. The cemetery map shows exactly where I am. I zoom in to check it out, make sure it is correct, and then tap on the cemetery link below for the cemetery I'm visiting. I make a plan for where I'd like to photograph. Then from the cemetery page, I tap on Add Grave Photos and follow the prompts to start taking photos. When you photograph a headstone, try to be at its level and be sure the inscription is readable. Photograph all sides that have text. Watch for your shadow and feet and try to keep them out of the photo. Tap OK and then you can crop or rotate the photo and then upload it. Keep moving along the rows, photographing and uploading each headstone. When you take multiple photos of one stone, you can link them together by checking the box, link another photo. Now that you've photographed the headstones, let's talk about how to add the information to the site. Transcribe is a process where the information from the headstone is typed into a form to create a new memorial. The headstone photos stay in your personal transcribe queue for seven days. After that, they move into the community queue where the Find a Grave community can help with transcription. You can transcribe headstone photos in the app or a browser. We'll go through each of them here. In the app, tap on Transcribe in the menu at the bottom of the page. You will see your personal transcribe queue with your headstone photographs. Click on a photo and type the information from the headstone into the form. Let's go through this a little more quickly. Some find it easier to use Transcribe from a browser window as they can use their computer keyboard. From a browser, go to the home page for Find a Grave. You'll see a green number next to Transcribe Photos in the upper right. Click on the icon. 
The transcribe form opens up and you'll type the information from the headstone into the fields. Let's go through this a little more quickly. Notice that the system picked up a potential match. Select it and your photo will attach to that existing memorial. If a memorial doesn't exist on the site, you can add it with the headstone photo using Transcribe. You're all set and can venture out into a cemetery. A big thank you for documenting and preserving headstones on Find a Grave.